What's going on my guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. I wanna to talk today about how approaching can increase your overall life experience. Now I know a lot of guys in a lot of YouTube videos talk about women in such a negative way where they're like, yo, stay away from women, women are the devil, women are gonna distract you from this and that, don't do this, there's tons of that stuff out there. And I hardly ever hear videos or see videos about the ways that women can actually increase the quality of your life. So I'm gonna jump into that in this video. Now, again, when I first started approaching, I was on the other side of that. I was like, yo, this stuff sucks. Women are a uh, pain in the ass. They don't text you back. They don't show up for dates. They flake. They're really finicky, really weird. And a lot of that was true at the time until I learned that people are always just responding to your energy. It's not just women, it's men too. So if you haven't created a solid enough container or connection with the person, then yes, they're not gonna feel safe enough to show up on a date to meet you. If they're feeling kind of iffy about you or you haven't established yourself in a way that makes them feel like you, you're important enough to show up for, they're not gonna show up for you. Now, I'm not trying to say that they're not wrong for the way they go about communicating or lack of communication in these, in these, in these situations because you know we all know that's wrong to do, but you can only change your end of it, right? And so how can you as a man learn to attract and be attractive and represent yourself in a way that a woman actually wants to be around you and wants to hang around you? Women, when you're nailing this, women can be very awesome. <laughs> women can be very caring, very nurturing, and awesome in just so many ways that you couldn't even imagine once you start nailing it and become the guy that women want to be around. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the four things that stand out to me in my journey that I realized that has really increased my overall life experience when it comes to approaching the women. So before we jump into that, guys, hit like and subscribe. If you're enjoying the videos, if you're getting value from these videos, if you feel like these videos are enhancing your life, hit like and subscribe. Now, when I first started watching Brian's videos, my first video was the video on nice guy syndrome, and we'll go ahead and link it right here. The nice guy syndrome video is the one that got me in the door. That was like, yo, that's me to a T, and it was very hard to watch that video. But the cool thing was it opened, it opened me to being like, okay, there's gotta be a solution for this. And so I go to work every day at the library and I would be putting books on shelves and day in and day out, I would have my headphones in and I would just listen to Brian in the background. I wasn't watching the videos, but I was listening to them, right? And over time, that stuff started to really seep into my subconscious. And when I go out, I started to see the little improvements that I would make when I was stopping girls, talking to girls, talking to women who worked at the library where I worked. And I was like, okay, something's changing here just because I'm hearing this stuff. So it's not so much a value to us that you're liking and subscribing, but it's a value to you and it's a service to you if you allow yourself to just plug in and listen to the stuff daily if you can. Um, it'll really enhance your overall life experience. It'll enhance the way you approach women. It'll enhance the way that women respond to you. And again, that's what you guys are probably here for. I would imagine you're here for that. You guys are not here to not get better with women. And so in order to do that, having these videos show up in your feed daily, frequently, or however much they show up in your feed, can be really beneficial to you to click and listen. All right, guys, so go ahead and make it happen and love to see you guys grow. Now, let's jump into the ways that approaching has enhanced my life and it can also enhance yours. I'll start with the first topic because this is, very, this is a very obvious one. Um, let's talk about sex, right? Sex is a huge thing. It's one of the core needs and core wants and desires of men or people in general, our species. And in society, we don't talk about it enough right it's very shamed in our society to want sex especially if you're a nice guy you're very what's the word reluctant to admit that you want sex or that you desire sex because we think sex is bad and the truth is sex can really enhance your life experience think about all the times you've had sex or think about the good times that you've had sex think about all the pleasure that you're gaining from sex think about the connection with the girl that you had think about how it even feels to rest after you've had some really great sex. Like how much more confident do you feel? Like you feel like you can get up and go slay the world, right? Especially if, you had, if you've had some great morning sex or midday sex. And you're like, yo, like I feel so good right now. So truthfully, sex can enhance the quality of your life if you're having it with the person that you actually wanna be having it with. Now, a lot of times guys are settling for the girls that they have sex with. And again, that comes down to a lack of 
your ability to be the chooser and you're settling for what comes in. And there's a ton of videos that we have on that topic where you shouldn't be out there settling for girls who are unhealthy for you, who are girls that you don't want and who are girls that you're just like low hanging fruit. Like, okay, I'll take this girl because I can, not because I actually want this girl. That's not increasing the quality of your life. If anything, that's doing the opposite. It's probably lowering your self-esteem. These videos are made for you to attain the skill to go out and actually approach girls that you actually want to be with, girls that you actually care to be sexual and intimate with, not girls that you can get or that are like, I guess I'll take this girl. That's no fun. That's not being the chooser, all right? So sex is a great enhancement of life. It boosts your confidence. And also it actually makes you feel, it gives you more endorphins in your body, right? And you start to feel when you go out after you have sex, it's a lot easier to talk to other girls. I don't know, at least that's what it feels like for me. When I've had sex and I go out to the store, grocery store, I'm like so relaxed in my body. I'm like, oh, I can talk to anybody. I can talk to this chick right here. I can talk to that dude over there. I just feel so relaxed. And so I want you guys to start experiencing more of that in your life. Uh, you guys wouldn't imagine how many guys I get on calls with who probably haven't had sex in like, I don't know, three or four years, or maybe they had sex once a year. So they want to have sex, but they're just not getting the sex that they want because they know that there's pleasure in sex and there's fun that's in sex, but they're just not getting it, right? So again, this can really increase the overall experience of your life if you allow yourself to go out there, step into the challenges of approaching and reap the benefits that are on the other side of them. Now, number two, the second thing that really stood out to me when it came to how approaching has increased or enhanced my life or my overall life experience is the fact that my social skills have increased dramatically. So as a result of my social skills increasing, I've got way more friends than I had before. I've got way more people that I hang out with. I got a lot more, I got a lot more car buddies. I'm a car nut, I love cars, love Japanese cars. I got guys that I go hang out with and we go hit the canyons a lot. But I would have never had this had I not developed the skill of being more social. And the way that came to me was one, through doing the work with Fearless, but two, also going out and approaching women, right? Because again, the masculine grows through challenge. A lot of guys will sit and complain and bitch about how they can't go out and approach because women are so mean, women suck, every girl's rejecting them. And you guys forget that you are men and you are the masculine. So the challenge of all of that is supposed to grow you and support you in becoming a more masculine man and a more confident man. So when I went out and did all these approaches and I got rejected and I bitched about it too, over time it got easier and easier. I was getting the girls that I liked. I was getting the girls that I never thought I could have. And as a result, my ability to socialize with women and men increased. So I'd be maybe at a supermarket in line checking out and I'll, somebody behind me, I'll just start chatting with them or I go to an event or festival or something like that and I look over my shoulder, somebody's still at me, I'll just start chatting with them, small talking, or long, deep conversations, it just depends on where it goes. But I wasn't able to do that years before that because I didn't have those skills and I was very avoidant of talking to people because I felt weird. I was always trying to rush and get out the conversation as soon as possible because I just didn't feel solid and confident. So on to number three, a third way that, the third way that approaching has enhanced my life or my overall life experience is variety. So we're men, right? And we love variety. We love variety in women. We love variety and I would say in almost anything. There's so many different types of people out in the world and there's so many different types of women out in the world. There's highly educated people or highly educated women. There's women who are just down to earth and sweet and girl next door. There's girls who just have different styles and personalities that are girls who are the punk rock. There's girls who are a little more edgier. There's girls who are, who are a lot more in their turn on and are very, very feminine and are very sexual too. And so you meet a variety of women over your course of learning how to approach and you will date a lot of these women. And the benefit of that is one, you get to taste the different spices of life, but two, you also get to narrow down and find out what it is that you like versus what you actually don't like. And a lot of the times when I was going out, I was overlooking these things that I didn't like about women until I started to have more abundance in women I was dating. And then I started to be like, oh, okay, this girl's cool. I like this about her. I don't like that about her. And I stopped settling for the things that I didn't like for the things that I did like. So the variety aspect of it is that you get to meet women that you get to network with 
girls who would introduce you to other cool ass dudes or, or introduce you to other cool ass girls. And those are like friends that you pick up on along the way. So just having that variety in my life has dramatically enhanced the experience that I've had. And I still have a lot of friends that I've met through girls that I've dated at some point, or even just friends that I've dated that it just didn't work out. So variety is a huge enhancement um, for male, at least, especially when it comes to narrowing down what you want in the lifelong partner. A lot of guys want lifelong partners. A lot of guys don't. It just depends on where you are on that topic. I particularly do. I don't want to be out approaching for the rest of my life necessarily, right? So this really gets you a lot closer to finding out your, okay, I have to have this in a relationship. I don't want this in a relationship. These are my red flags. These are the things I have to have. All right, so I hope that helps you guys out too. Now, the fourth way that approaching and dating has enhanced my overall life experience is traveling. All right, what I mean by that? I love to travel. I love to see new things. I love going out having new experiences. And I specifically love solo travel, like traveling by myself. I don't like to travel in packs of people. I don't like to have schedule when I go out and travel. I like to do my own thing when I go out. And so when you have the ability to actually go out and approach women, your traveling experience or your solo travel experience becomes a lot more different. Now, when I go out to a country that I've never been before, like I went to Brazil, for instance, that was the place I really wanted to go. I went to Rio. And when I got out there, I was like, yo, this place is pretty amazing. And immediately I just started approaching women because one, they were the type of girls that I like body wise, sexy, very much in their hips, very low on their body, very sexual culture. And so I went out and I started meeting girls, started going on these little insta dates. Girls were showing me this. They were like, hey, have you been to this uh, museum or have you been to this uh, park? And so I'd go out and I'd have these experiences because girls wanted to take me places I have never seen before, especially because they were local. And some girls are also tourists, but they were also like, cool, we should go to this place. I want to go here. And it was awesome because a solo trip ended up not being so solo when I got there. But I also started to date different girls while on that trip. And I got to see a lot of different things. So what turned out to be what was a tourist trip ended up being like I was seeing more things that only the locals saw. I was getting taken to bars that only the locals would go to. I was really getting taken off the grid from all the touristy stuff. And I was seeing this different part of Brazil that I had never seen before, or I had never seen any of it at all, honestly. But I was seeing a different part of it I wouldn't have seen otherwise had I not gone out and met some women. So guys, approaching women can be very fruitful once you've gotten past all your stories around it. You've embodied the principles that we teach. The grounding, the receiving, the leading, the connection. So go back and watch some of our videos that we have in our channel so you guys can really get brought up to speed on the stuff that we teach here if you haven't seen the stuff yet, all right? I want you guys to be killers when it comes to going out and approaching because it's not that hard at the end of the day. As men, we're just getting in our own way. And I, that's, I guarantee you that's what it is. We're just getting in our own way. And the minute that we get out of our own way, women are attracted to us. They want to be attracted to us, okay? We're just killing it and messing it up our own way. So anyways, guys, hit like and subscribe jump down in the comments and put what kind of videos that you want to see in there so that we can know what to pump out that's going to really enhance your overall experience of life but also in dating too and remember guys i love shooting these videos for you but also remember only the confident really live peace